come back to my film and TV to hope you'll all stay safe and well. And we've got a little film short today. It's a Spanish uh, title. It's obviously in English, done in English with the uh, US actors. Uh, we're going to have something in Spanish. It's called, uh, called Estrana Forma de Vida. Something like that. Anyway, uh, my apologies if it's not a very great way of doing it. But if you want the English version, it's called A Strange Way of Life. Yeah, a film short. Just over 30 minutes this one. So quite interesting. Please, if you are new to the channel, push that subscribe button. Push the bell notifications. Everything film and TV, of course. Uh, reviews like this. So short films, long films, everything in between. And of course, information, vlogs, lots of different things. So uh, please jump on board, spread the word. And you do have a split second uh, to give us a like, a thumbs up. Uh, it'd be very appreciated, appreciated as well. I always say that wrong. I don't know why. I don't know why I say it wrong. I know, I know the word. I just can't get this. This thing doesn't work sometimes. Right, Strange Way of Life, a Spanish Western drama written and directed by Pedro Al Almodovar, who's reasonably well known. I don't know too much about him myself. It stars in the main uh, role, the two gunslingers uh, come... Uh, come good guys, I think. Uh, Ethan Hawke and Pedro Pascal. And these two reunite after 25 years. And the film marks Almodovar's second English language effort following The Human Voice in 2020. I didn't see that. I'll have to, might have to catch up with it. It was released in Spain on the 26th of May 2023 by B-Team Pictures. And it's had a, a, a minimal release now in, uh, in the US and, and the UK and should be available for streaming very, very soon. Well, what's the story about? Well, after this 25 years apart, Silver rides a horse across across the desert to visit his friend Sheriff Jake. Sounds like a kid's thing, doesn't it? They celebrate the meeting, but well, one way or the other. But the next morning, Jake tells him that the reason for his trip is not to go down the memory lane of their friendship. Yes, there's a darker edge to it. All these comments, the scores are at the 5th of October 2023, 11am UK time. Rotten Tomatoes liked it, 61 reviewers, 74% positivity, an average rating of 6.9 out of 10. The consensus said a tantalising glimpse of the bond between two people. And well acted, strange way of life adds a brief but still rewarding chapter to Pedro Aldemar's filmography. Thank you, also well done. Internet Movie Database, they quite liked it as well. Over 10,000 scores and reviews, 6.5 out of 10. So, what about me? What about Bird? What about yours truly? I did want more from this. It's a shame it was so, such a short because. Uh, yeah, I just, I just thought there was so, so much potential for a, a film-length version, uh, reasonably put together, good settings, acting talent. But because of the limited time, the flashbacks, for instance, had a, had a sort of rush feel for me. Uh, it all needed to dig far deeper and go far better, which uh, the time constraint, of course, with a 30-minute film just didn't allow us to do. Yes, broke back mountain meets high noon in 30 minutes. Okay, not, not quite, guys, but uh, yeah, you get the gist of it. It's obviously about two cowboys who uh, obviously like each other in more ways than one, but uh, not uh, not quite that broke back mountain meets high noon, but elements. And I think, I think the thing is... 90 minutes could have easily there's so much potential in this there's so much story you could you know given what i saw on screen you know you could have added so much more to it a bit more depth to it and made a really good 90 minute film and i think it would have been better and there was you know, there's a, a lot of stuff to work with to, to to accomplish that it's one of these that's like a an okay starter at a meal and then sadly there's no mange you've got to go home they're still hungry unfortunately for me which which is a shame because i say it did have did have potential generally well liked as you can see so my scores yes i would be fresh on rotten tomatoes despite despite the uh, negative i've just come up with there i will be positive because uh, i like what i saw what bit i saw uh, so i'm going to give this though i'm not going to go mad i'm just going to give it a basic watchable six out of ten and just rue the, the fact that uh, there wasn't much more uh, to eat there wasn't much more to eat at the table unfortunately so uh, yeah but uh, uh great potential perhaps it will be perhaps i'll make it into a long film because as i say i can think myself of other things to add to it but uh, this is all we get so there you go let me know what you think guys anyway great to hear from you until we meet again please i only ask one thing don't i please stay safe everyone bye for now